In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process to drain and refill your transmission fluid. This is a 2011 Ford Edge with a V6, and it takes Mercon LV. I only use synthetic fluids and oils in my vehicles, so I've got Valvoline Max Life. Now, this is rated for Mercon LV. This is a synthetic fluid. It's going to help your vehicle perform and last longer. Now, you always want to consult your owner's manual and double check what type of ATF fluid your vehicle uses. It's normally also going to say it on the transmission fluid cap. When you drain and refill your transmission fluid yourself at home, you're only going to get about 30% of the fluid out. Now, I generally change my transmission fluid in my own personal vehicles every spring and fall. If you want to flush out your whole transmission fluid system, you're going to have to take it to a shop that has a T-Tech machine and it's basically like a kidney dialysis. It's going to push all your old fluid out and put the new fluid in. We're just going to drain out about four-ish quarts that's going to come out of the pan. I'm going to have a bucket that will tell me exactly how much that came out so I can put that much back in and then we're going to check the level at the end. First thing we need to do is get this vehicle up on some ramps. Now I've circled the drain plug with a sharpie marker and I'll show you guys exactly where it's at. To find your transmission fill cap, you're going to be on the driver's side. There's the air box with the air filter. It's going to be underneath your air filter box. I'm going to shine a light down in there. You can see it right there. It says transmission fluid only Mercon LV. So I'm going to show you where that drain plug is. And you're going to go down underneath the driver's side of the car towards the front. We're going to come back. It's going to be right there. I've got it circled with that Sharpie marker. This is going to be your drain plug. If I come back out a little bit, you'll see this black piece right here. You're just going to go straight back about four inches, and that's the plug. It's not this one here. It's this one right here. As you can see, there's kind of a pocket in this casting right here. It's right next to this pocket. So here's my drain bucket. It has graduations on it, so it tells me exactly how much fluid comes out of my transmission. Because that's going to be exactly how much fluid I want to put back in. We're going to drive around in the end and double check that the fluid is correct. I just don't want to overfill it and have to drain some back out. Quick tip, before you take out this drain plug, take a look and see where it is and according to the flatness of this casting. This drain plug is about an eighth of an inch off of being totally tightened. You don't want to tighten this all the way up and crack this aluminum housing. You're going to tighten it up till there's about an eighth inch gap. Take a look at yours. Take a picture with your phone and make sure you put it back in the exact same way it is from the factory. You're going to need an 11 millimeter socket. It should come loose pretty easily. Make sure your bucket is centered underneath the drain plug. Go ahead and loosen it all the way and let the fluid drain out. As you can see, it's just finishing draining out. I've got just a hair over four quarts. As you can see how easy this is, whenever you do an oil change from your engine oil, you can easily change your transmission fluid in an extra five minutes. We'll go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Just remembering the position from the face of the plug to the face of the aluminum casting. Now we're ready to fill our fluid and you're going to want one of these long, narrow transmission fluid funnels. We're ready to add our fluid. Now I always recommend full synthetic fluids and oils. But whatever kind you get, just make sure it's approved for Ford Mercon LV. 
And since I measured exactly how much fluid came out, I'm gonna put exactly four quarts back in. I'm gonna use this entire jug and just a little bit I have left over from the last time I changed it. And once you've added all your fluid, go ahead and remove the funnel and replace your fill cap. And now you want to put all your old fluid into your jug and take it to your local auto parts store for recycling. Now we're not done yet. You don't just want to jump in your car and take off driving. There's a sequence that we have to do with the transmission gear shifting. We'll take it for a drive, come back and check the level. Now what we need to do is start the vehicle. And you're gonna shift into reverse. And you're just gonna leave it set there for about five seconds. And we're gonna do this for all the gears. So then after five seconds, bring it to neutral. Wait five seconds, bring it to drive. Same thing, we're gonna wait five seconds. Bring it all the way down. If you don't have the optional manual shift, you can bring it down to uh, first and second gear. You're gonna wait five seconds in each one of these gears and then also go back up doing the same thing. And another five seconds in reverse. Now back into park. And now we're going to take it for about a 15 minute drive to make sure the transmission fluid is up to operating temperature. When you come back from your test drive, you're going to leave your vehicle running and we're going to check the fluid with the engine running. So if you look at the bottom of your dipstick, it's going to say check hot. And if you rotate it around, it's going to say min and max. You're going to want your fluid level right in between. If you're a little low, just go ahead and add about a quarter of a quart at a time. And do the same sequence. You're going to have to drive it around, come back, and check the level. If your level is correct, which it should be, because you knew how much you taken out then you put the same back in you should be at the correct level go ahead and reinstall your fill cap and you're good to go congratulations on draining and refilling your own transmission fluid just do this twice a year along with changing your oil it goes by very quickly a jug of that valvoline full synthetic transmission fluid runs about 16 bucks at your local walmart it's pretty much the cheapest place you can buy it Keep doing this to your vehicle and it's going to last a long time. If you look in your owner's manual, it may say change your fluid every 100 to 150,000 miles, but that's going to be a full transmission fluid change. That's going to be all 11 to 12 quarts. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informational. And thanks for watching.